what systems we're live on. I don't uh, know. Uh, started a joke and set the whole world trolling. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so excited about this. Uh, Listen, Brian. There there's are... one thing that me and you are really no known for. <laughs> What's that? Having ideas that last forever. Uh, well, and also ideas that, that everybody else. The whole world is doing at the same time they're doing them. Uh, absolutely. Last forever. Oh, shit. Uh, well, man. and also Here's ideas. Me talking on Twitch. I followed it. Great. Followed Great. So, so we're live on Twitch? We are live on Twitch, and I'm gonna. I'll, I'll keep. I'll keep the Twitch chat room uh, uh, up here uh, in in my vision, just in case we catch a little uh, a little bit of action. By the way, I kind of like this whole idea where it's like there is a, there are three characters. There's you and me and the audience. Now, if we, yeah. it, it occurred to me that if we needed to, we could fake the audience. We could astroturf the audience. And just have a video file that's just li like like even going so far as to put like eight hundred people watching live and Wait, uh, are we live on Diamond Club. Can people can in the Diamond Club chat that's below us? Yes, yes, they should be able to see us. Uh, BB Live Studio, we're Channel Seven right now. I'm looking at it right now. Let's take a look. Wow, is, is our is our fun? Right little... I'm looking at it right now. Let's oh. take a look. Wow, is, is, is our is... that's that's low lag. That's low latency goodness. By no, the way. Let's uh, let's take a look at what we said only seconds ago. Here we go. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what we said only seconds ago. Here we go. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what we said only <laughs> seconds ago. Here we go. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what we said only <laughs> seconds ago. Here we go. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what we said only <laughs> seconds ago. Here we go. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what we said only <laughs> seconds ago. Here we go. Yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at what we said <laughs> only seconds ago. Here we go. Yeah, Let's, uh, let's take a look at what we said only seconds ago. All right, jot it down. <laughs> okay, all right, if you insist. <laughs> all right, jot it down. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Crap. All right, jot it down. I'm working on it. All right, there. Thank goodness. God, wow, that, that went a little that was, sideways. That was, that was a hypnosis that, that threatened to bring us down to the briny deep. We were, we were in a rendezvous in Davy Jones' lot. <laughs> we, we had to go like four more dreams deeper in order to I'm make too it. Too uh... fucking high for this shit. <laughs> set beat. All uh, right. right. Give us a give us a, so so keep in mind so here's the thing if if you're gonna watch and you're gonna be in the Diamond Club chat we would appreciate it we're not gonna tell you what to do because that's not what we're about but if you do want to just make noise make it look like this shit's alive and exciting and you know whatever well, just but here's the first reason that the chat needs to be alive is that we need to know who we are troll casting <clears throat> that's right that's right. So we need to find, and, and this is what I was thinking. What is our chat number right now? Uh, right now we got 145 in the chat. You figure there's there's a sleepy 120 that's kind of there at all times. So I think we got uh, maybe 30 live ones. So I would say, and what what do you think about this? Is a good rule of thumb. Our chat should be a th at the at the very least the bottom a third of who we're troll casting. Because I think I think we want like we we, we want to have like we, we, like, we, want, we don't to want to go roll up and right. yell at somebody who's never going to pay attention. Yeah, right? if there's a thousand people and we've got thirty in the chat, I'll tell you what. Let's do a roll call. Uh, everybody, uh, every if you are watching right now and you're logged in on chat, give us uh, some kind of indication. Draw a uh, uh, only one. Draw one eight equals 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 D dick. Yeah. Yes. Draw a dick. A tasteful dick. Tasteful. All right, we're not asking tasteful. for abstract. We Come on, man. Here. Just a tasteful dick. There you go. The Twitch channel is, of course, uh, twitch.tv. Twitch.com. Twitch.tv slash trollcast show. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right. Fourteen. Uh, they're coming in. So, as far as active members, 15, 16, uh, 17, 18, 19. Nobody put more than one dick. No, I, I haven't seen any dupes. You're as only far as allowed seeing. one dick. Yeah, we're up to we're up to 20. That's God's law, not mine. I, I mean, first of all, except for that one guy who was a rock star on Reddit when he showed up with two dicks and the whole place had to stop. All of the internet had to take a moment and catch its collective nope, breath. That 
that's how we, if it were if if I were the one making the rules, I'd say we found Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it's his old dick and his new. Uh, it uh, represents the rebirth under a new paradigm. Okay, uh, uh, Midzula says twitch.tv slash swoozy TV is streaming for 66 people right now. That's half. That works. That works. Although, I mean, listen, all right, does it make me sexist that I don't want to start off a, 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 a show a that has troll in the title with a lady? Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Is it a girl? If it's a girl, then forget about it. Uh, two beers. Twitch. Uh, TV. By the way, again, oh, we want- no, no, no. Swoozy TV's a dude. Okay. And he's ranked twelve. Oh, dude, he's and he's playing Hearthstone. And he's playing, he's playing that stone, bro. All right, no, this is great. If he's getting stoned, then we're all over it. Here we go. <clears throat> and he's starting a game right now. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we are live now for the event you've been waiting for. It's Swoozy TV. I'm Ryan Hearth. I'm Daryl Oates. And we are about to see a legend being made. Swoozy TV, currently ranked right around 12, exactly where I'm at now. You're a little bit below that. Is that is that, is that right, Hearth or Oats? Yeah, you know, I'm at nine, not bragging. He mulligans two secrets to keep the oldem on, and in return, he grabs a knife juggler and a mysterious challenger. Who is he? None of your business. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Talk me through the uh, wisdom of holding on to Oldemon here because I am not played with this particular card. I, of course, do play with the Secret Paladin myself, but I would have gone for a lot more lower-valued cards. Well, he doesn't have a whole lot to work with. He's got a bunch of secrets that don't do him no good goddamn good unless he gets something on the board. Uh, this repentance right here seems like a bit of a foolhardy play. He's Although, no, it certainly paid off. We've got a piloted shredder that just came out and was immediately hit with only one point. He could be taken out right now by this knife juggalo. And let's take a look. Of course, goes well, nowhere. Oh, he sacks up the juggalo. And look at him. Ladies and gentlemen, relax like he's on morphine. It's Nat Pagel. Oh, he Nat Pagel. <laughs> Nat Pagel, of course, uh, back in the day at the top of his game, nowadays rumored to be working at Burger King. Nat Pagel, one lucky son of a gun in everything except the value of his own life. Yeah, Nat Pagel, of course, a uh, 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 rumored once to to be in danger of committing suicide. Uh, thankfully, that is something that is no longer the case. Nat Pagel went through a lot of difficult situations, and I think it's important to. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, uh, Nat Pagel just sent this in via email. He says, "Guys, I'm watching you. Please lay off." I'm doing the best I can with what I have. I'm a recovering alcoholic. I, I'm off heroin. I'm just wanting to get into my fishing. Take it from me, Nat Pagel. Everything's going to work out fine. Uh, you you want to know what? I, for one, believe him. Uh, uh, first and foremost, my father uh, uh, really suffered from substance abuse, and, and I feel like everyone deserves another chance. Except, incidentally, my own father. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever happened to your dad? Didn't he die? Huh? Who knows? <laughs> All right, we got a swipe hitting up on, uh, and by the way, we're watching, a, uh, I'm sorry, what channel is this again, host? Uh, Swoozy TV. Swoozy again, TV. Be, it's a little bit confusing. Uh, this again is the, uh, the, the troll cast stylings of Hearth and Odes bringing you the only cast of Swoozy TV available right now yeah, on the That's right. Hearth and Oats, of course, if you head on over to hearthandoats.info, you will get the number one premier Hearthstone and relationship advice podcast on the planet. And, of course, we are watching Swoozy TV, a.k.a. Nujabees. I believe I'm pronouncing that correctly. I think you are, too. A big mysterious challenger play here as secrets are popping all over the place as if it's a diner and he's a short order cook. I'll tell you what, man. Not since I had acne at the age of 17 have I seen that much popping of little pillboxes all over this place. Who am I? None of your business is the refrain we hear yet again as another mysterious challenger joins up. At this point, we can only assume just to be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking really, really good for Swoozy TV, and you can tell from his contemplative look, his eyes darting all around as he decides what is 
Marson going to do? And it looks like he's going to set up a big old fat wall to the tune of 10 health points. Can he make it through Oats? You know, I believe he can. There's a lot of things that can happen right here. Probably the most likely is he's going to run both of his high attack minions I right know. into that uh, that 510 structure. Or oh, Elf there it is. The Iron Beak Owl showing up, ruining everybody's day, saying, hey, all y'all, knock it off. I'm an owl. Let this man kill you like a civilized being. We've got two shielded mini bots, and that old noble sacrifice man says, Wait a minute, I'm a person too. <laughs> That's his catch phrase. Just, oh, oh, and he gives up. Just like that, Marcin is out. Nujabees, aka Swoozy TV, continues his rise to triumph. Man, Swoozy.tv's got to be feeling really good. And you can tell by the half smirk on his face that he's feeling like this is his night. I'll tell you what, this is as good a time as any to remind folks that he is accepting some money. He's looking for $4.20 with 28 days to go. Let's make it happen for Swoozy TV, a.k.a. Nujabees, now up against Nikator. Also, this Hearth and Oats broadcast is brought to you by Daddy's Home, starring Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. Oh, if you've ever wanted to have a hilarious comedy about two daddies, one of them actually the daddy, the other person just some dude banging the dad's ex-wife, then you need to check out Daddy's Home, coming to you this month from our fine friends at the cinema. Also brought to you by Spotlight, the film about a bunch of newspaper journalists trying to bring down pedophiles who work in the church, starring Mark Ruffalo. Remember him? He was the Hulk. Uh, Mark Ruffalo, of course, quoted as saying, uh, no, I'm going to go watch Star Wars again. What? Oh, that's right. I guess my show is coming out. Uh, uh, TV. Uh, the dot is silent. Uh, now playing against what looks to be an aggro shaman, and this is not a good matchup for his secret paladin. No, it isn't. Not at all. Zero likelihood that he's going to win this. Am I right, Hearth? Plays a muster for battle here as we uh, now face, uh, you know, a real, real tricky situation. Oh, what? Oats, this just in. The sheriff not happy with the shouting coming out of this studio in the dead of night while our daughters are trying to sleep. I'm Ryan Hearth doing my best to keep please everyone, including the thousands of people watching live online at twitch.tv slash trollcast show. Well, as somebody who has literally woken the baby before, I say, I understand where you're coming from. And so does Swoozy TV, after a rock biter takes out his 4-2 piloted shredder. All right, now, here's the important question. Is he going to double down on his current secrets, secrets or is he going to pull out a bigger beast, maybe enhancing with a, uh, with a blessing? Uh, no, it looks like he's going to throw away the little guy in favor of clearing the board banging things up and taking out oh there it is very well done you know what what swoozy wants to do right here is just establish a real through line a narrative that will carry through to the end of this game what he's saying with these car plays is hey mister i'm somebody that you need to pay attention to you know what? I also feel like he's saying, I don't feel comfortable with some of the moves you're making, guy. You better keep your hands off me or you'll have to talk to the sheriff. I mean, like, there's also, uh, really, on this turn, he's got a lot of choices. He plays Mustard for Battle, which is, or, or will he, wait a minute, no, he lets it go, decides to play Hero Power... A little bing dong to the face and then muster for battle. And then here it comes. His powerful force, a tsunami of energy and agony. The ecstasy and the plex you see coming at you right now. Ding dong diddly doo dee doo wop. <laughs> and it is going to be from Swoozie Oh, here TV. we go. Every fin is awesome. 
This is a killer play unless Swoozy can do something with it. This is the play of the game, Hearth. He has got to neutralize some of these Morlocks unless he wants them to eat his face alive. No, oh, with a cancellation, he has silenced some of them and he is consecrating them. They're dropping left and right all the way to the face. Look at those moves. He's finger flicking like a 15 year old with a penthouse magazine. Congratulations, Swoozy TV. Speaking of finger flicking, he's got a Tyrion fondling coming up on this next turn. And just like that, he pulls out what I assume has to be the knife juggler. Maybe he's gonna set up a barrier between him with Tyrion. No. He goes no, he full sides to trade. He says, hey, listen, mister, I've got one of these. If you've got one of those, what do you say we trade them up and make friends with each other? Uh, well, it's some kind of friendship uh, with which I've never been familiar before, sir. If this is the kind of friend, then give me some enemies who aren't killing me. Now, you got to wonder like why friends. he doesn't just drop Tyrion here and say, uh, uh, all up in your butt, uh, I will bust a nut. All up in your butt, I will bust a nut. Reminds me of the fact that this episode is brought to you by Daddy's Home. Daddy's <laughs> Home, starring Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. If you like a comedy about awkward dudes talking about being dads, even though only one of them is a dad, the other one is the biological donor. Hmm. Now, Check do you out think, Daddy's uh, Hearth, do you think that, uh, that that's, uh, you know, uh, not something that uh, the, the kids will, will, will cotton to, uh, the, the daddy's home? The fact that only one of them's a daddy. Uh, you know what? I, uh, I got to go to an advanced screening of Danny, Daddy's Home, and uh, I, for the life of me, and maybe it's just me, I, I couldn't find Kylo Ren anywhere in that movie. I'm going to go watch it again and look double hard, but I'm almost certain that the uh, alleged Star Wars crossover is in fact a myth. Now, do you have to wonder, at some point, he's gotta start hitting the man in the face, right? Uh, Kylo Ren or S Daddy? Oh, Swoozy TV. Oh, Swoozy well, TV. I'll tell you what, I've got a big 4,000 word essay on why Ray should have, oh, and there's a win. Let's All get right. back to this Kylo Ren thing. That Kylo Ren should not have been able to beat, uh, be defeated by Rey, who comes off a salvage planet with, uh, with a lightsaber. Spoiler alert to anyone who hasn't seen the movie. <laughs> Uh, all right, some people are suggesting that maybe we got to take a look at some of the other fine actions happening right now. Well, listen, well, this is the Hearth and Oats uh, troll cast, and, and we like to swing all the way around the world of Hearthstone so we can bring everybody just a little something in their evening. Uh, by the way, uh, if you're just joining us, I'm Ryan Hearth. I'm Daryl Oates, and, and that's Woozy TV, who's going to mulligan a Tyrion he'll never fucking play. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so we're looking at a, what, a five, four, and a two. We got a piloted shredder, a sludge belcher, and of course, the knife juggler. Uh, oh, and look at that. A, a lucky draw right at the top. He gets to throw an avenge secret right out at the top. By the way, let's kick it over to the chat room. If you guys have another channel you'd like us to be trollcasting, make sure to post it right there in the chat. Make sure to follow us over at hearthandoats.info. And, of course, like and subscribe some bullshit other page because we don't give a fuck. <laughs> that is twitch.tv slash trollcastshow. All right, here we go. Uh, you know what? Screw this guy. People are saying he's got bots in his chat room, and he's a big old fat liar. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's our people are in there. Yep, that's, that's this is the total figure. number uh, amount of people who have said anything during his show, even though he allegedly has three hundred plus people watching him. And we're gonna go to this suggestion from our own odds maker, Mitzula, the Mike Rula, the old Skula. Here we go. Try harding with my hobgoblin deck. Oh, now we're talking. This is. It looks. Oh, already. A legend player, Brian. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this an actual legend? It is. 148 legend. That is somebody who is doing very well. He's on Team Archon. Uh, it's Zale, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, man, yeah, Zale. Wow, I, I almost feel like we should take a brief moment, let him finish up this game, and we could give him a proper. 
uh, uh, a proper just... hearth and oatsing. Boreas, just mm. subscribed. Thanks for your support, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, all right, let me. Uh, uh, let's right. uh, let's do this. Mute him a little bit. <laughs> What's that? Let's mute him a little Boreas. bit. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, well, what have we seen so far? We've seen uh, a lot of Hearthstone. And, and quite a bit of discussion of the film Daddy's Home, starring Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell out in cinemas right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, but some of us have children that uh, belong to our ex-wives. They have full custody, but we get to have them from time to time. And when we do, we like to go see a movie. I don't know about you, but I'll be taking my children, estranged children, uh -huh. to Daddy's Home. Yeah, a starring Mark Wahlberg and Will <laughs> Ferrell out in cinemas right now. Here's the thing. When, it, when, when you think about Hearthstone, you think about, are these minions going to perform the way that I want? I need to set them up. They're going to hit other cards. We're going to find out who is the leader of this board, not unlike... The film Daddy's Home, out in cinemas right now. <laughs> you know, people are thinking, how is it going to fare? Will it be as good as the DreamWorks Studios picture, Minions? As long as we're talking about Minions, that's got Minions in the title. And those people, of course, they're going to have their questions answered when they go check out Daddy's Home, starring <laughs> Mark Wahlberg and, of course, the comedy stylings of Will Ferrell. Man, he's great. I used to love him. On uh, on on Saturday Night Live. Did uh did you ever see the one night that he took over for David Letterman and actually ran the 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 Late Show starring David Letterman only with Will Ferrell for one night? No, that was a real thing that happened, and it was real weird and super awkward. And that was his one night. Sounds great. <laughs> Uh, we're going. We're waiting here for for Zale to uh, get done again. Uh, uh, Team Archon, Brian, uh, how familiar are are you with the esports scene for Hearthstone? Uh, well, if you're gonna I mean, not wait. Brian, fucking Hearth, uh, Ryan Hearth. <laughs> if if you're gonna rate me on a on the, on a scale, if you're gonna rate me on a scale from one to competent, I'm gonna say I'm getting there. I'm doing my best, and I'd appreciate it if you gave me a slow hand and handled me with an easy touch. I want somebody who's going to spend some time explaining to me why these guys are doing what they're doing, not come and go in a heated rush. Uh, you make a lot of really good points here, Ryan, and and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna treat you gentle. We're gonna treat you like a real lady. Mm. Should I put on that dress? Sure. sure. <laughs> hey, uh, real quick, what kind of what kind of deck is Zalay running here? Uh, Zalay is running what looks to be. I mean, having seen what we've seen, probably a, a, a zoo deck. Looks like a zoo. Yep. Looks uh, like a zooer. Uh, Are we uh, doing it? Z Zooey Deschanel, the deck <laughs> now available in Hearthstone. Hob oh no, hobgoblin. He said hobgoblin in his thing. He's, what uh, he, uh, what are the defining about characteristics of a hobgoblin? hobgoblin? Uh, uh, well, Brian, uh, I'm not sure what makes a hobgoblin deck. Ah, uh, well, that's why we, of course, are not the people playing the game. We're the people talking about other people playing the game. I'm Ryan Hearth. I'm Daryl or Donnie Oates. <laughs> Did you say Donnie O'Donnie oh, Oates? Donnie Oates, Donnie Oates, <laughs> name, Hearthstone Colin is my game. <laughs> All right. It looks like we're in the final stages of Zalay's attempt to slay the Lay who betrayed. There's the Hobgoblin. You know, you wonder why this uh, deck is named the Hobgoblin deck. Turns out it's a three-cost minion. Called Hobgoblin. And and it's important for what reason? Well, you know, he's always hobbing and, and, and goblining around. Uh, and you got to figure at some point, uh, hey, Hobber, when are you going to get a job? We find out with Zalay. <laughs> Zalay taking a nap right now, live on the show, waiting patiently to figure out what he's going to do with his hobby McGobby. 
<laughs> I think we're already figuring out some uh, some elements uh, of uh, challenge for our troll casting. <laughs> it's well, that uh, these games are really not exciting, and it's not as silly when your friend isn't the one on the other end and acting like an asshole because they're being funny for your stream. You know, this is a good time for us to bring up the fact that uh, a lot of people don't know about the curious backstories of many of these characters. For example, the defender of Argus, what is he defending? What's so great about Argus, Oats? Argus, of course, historically was known as a place for brass. A place for brass? What, what do you mean? Yeah. Oh, you know, uh, fixtures, <laughs> uh, figurines. <laughs> so, wait, wait, wait. so Argus is, 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 is Ikea? It's, it's, it's Kohl's? Uh, well, you know, I mean, if, 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 if you want to be simplistic about it, sure. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, you find, a, you know, the brass of your dreams at, at Argus. It, it really sounds like you're just describing a local department store. Uh, well, you know, I mean, uh, we, we all have our hang-ups. Uh, Argus is a place where you can hang up your burdens because... Brass has come to town. Okay, all right. Now, now let's get down down to brass tax, as it were. If he's <laughs> defending Argus, who is he defending it against? Well, against anyone that comes to uh, meet his mighty sword, uh, of course. Uh, <laughs> Hop Goblin here being played. Uh, uh, that's that's definitely a two three minion with a uh, uh, activating battle cry whenever a new minion is played. Look at that. Uh, there is uh, some real buff action happening. It's buff, and it is the stuff. This looks like a real kill position for Zelay, unless he top decks something on the other end. I'll He's tell you what. Or selling. Ha ha ha. You hey, one. If you take out a personal's ad in the back confidential section of the newspaper and you want Zelay to respond, you better say that you, my friend, are into buff stuff because he most certainly is going to get all in that buff. There we go. A very confident itch of the chin. Zelay knows he's got this one right in his palm. Oh, a soul fire with no cost on the other end. It looks like this is not all wrapped oh, up. Oh, hey, Zelay hey, pulls hey, it out. Oh, my God. Zelay, very excited. He moves up to 122 legend. 122. We are watching the legend, the man, the myth, the person who is probably not born with the name Zelay, but chooses for other people to call him that. It's Zelay. <laughs> You know, uh, Zelay's starting up, uh, and as we go into it, of course, we'd like to remind you that Hearth and Oats is brought to you by Garden Hoses. You might need to water your lawn this winter. Why not a garden hose? Oh, available right now at both Lowe's and Home Depot. If you've got some old, withered, dried, desiccated tomatoes that you forgot to water all this season, it's not too late. Head on down. Get yourself some garden hoses. Garden hoses. Remember them? Implosion and Defender of Argus get the old he fo In their spots, we get an Abusive Sergeant and the old Hobgoblin. Zelay riffles his deck, says, Hey, mister, I'm ready for a fightin'. Yep, nope, he's stroking his deck left and right, pausing for a moment to decide if the Argent Squire is the way to go. He does and confidently hits that enemy turn button. Now, a mad scientist on turn one, what do you think is going on in the mind of his mage opponent? It, uh, you know what? I don't much know and or care because it seems to me like I'm going <laughs> to drop an angry sergeant who's going to cause the, the argent to kill the guy. Or abusive. <laughs> uh, angry is another way to say abusive if you are copacetic to the idea that some people abuse other people. <laughs> Speaking of copacetic, uh, garden hoses will keep your gardens copacetic, keep them lean, green, and totally mean. Your yards can get water, courtesy of our sponsor, Garden Hoses. Well, here we go. This is going to be a real telling play right now. 
Thankfully, the Hobgoblin deck brings a lot of one-cost minions, so there's not going to be a lot of damage if he drops a one-coster and it gets mirror-imaged right here. Either way, he'd like for it to buff that uh, that Argent. And the not big question right now is whether or not that secret is a mirror image. You do not want to drop that Hobby Gobby if it's just going to get duplicated. It seems like now is a good time for you to drop a useless sack of fat like this oozy motherfucker well either that or or an abusive i mean listen we all get angry sometimes every once in a while we get abusive this way it's a safe play and also we can life tap and get another card right in there but That's the exactly important thing is that do. he build up the tension and not let us know oh there it is it's a mirror entity just like that then he's gonna drop the oozy doozy and i'm Gotta think that he's about to take out that mad scientist. There it is. Ending his turn like a champ and a boss rolled into one. A champ boss. A shoss. Shoss. Old shoss Zalay. Shaw. Of course, uh, now, of course, looking upon the Shaws de Lise, the river that sweeps through Perry, it is Zalay. Zalay? Continuing his march towards even more legendary -er is, of course, the name of his Kickstarter. If you go to even more legendary -er .biz .info slash org, then you, my friends, can help support and make Zalay's dream come true to someday hit number one on a list. Of course, uh, that a key plot point in the new film Daddy's Home. Starring Mark Wahlberg and Will Ferrell. Go ahead and take it, uh, take it into your life. Local cinemas are there for you to watch Daddy's Home. As a matter of fact, the Daddy's Home play of the day happening right now. Which of these cards <laughs> will Zelay choose for the Daddy's Home play of the day? And if you selected that he would tap, then you were right. <laughs> Well, then please go ahead and write in to the Daddy's Home Play of the Day sweepstakes. That is 10549 P.O. Box, uh, New York, New York, Daddy's Home Contest.org. <laughs> 90026. Another secret from the evil villain, just saying, uh, just saying that maybe he's a molester of goats. <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, listen, these are a lot of things we have to we have to say a lot of words like allegedly uh, uh, just saying isn't necessarily a molester. But there have been a lot of questions going around questions that involve the phrase. Are you a molester? Well, first of all, it is rumored that just saying over this recent holiday weekend was seen feasting upon the corpse of a majestic turkey, this fine bird. Of course, the wild turkey was suggested by Benjamin Franklin to be the, the official bird of the United States of America for its wits and its wisdom. And it's alleged that just saying, ate one, tore its flesh apart, shoved it in his mouth, and then showed up to try to take down the fantastic Zelay as he continues his quest for legendaryation. Uh, Zelay looking at a big fat clear here, takes out the... Sorcerer's Apprentice, too bad it gets duplicated. That's not something that he wanted. Would have rather taken four bits of damage right out of that ass instead of giving him two more Sorcerer's Apprentice in a deck that obviously is very spell heavy. All right, we're looking at five to four on cards. And of course, Zelay, of course, uh, one of those cards being just the coin. Not as many options, which is surprising considering the deck he's running. Well, he's still got that Hobby Gobby, uh, you know, the, known to his friends as the Hobbs. Old Hobby Hobbs. Old H Hobby Lobby, of course. Uh, a, a real uh, controversy magnet as uh, they uh, refuse to offer birth control. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, a lesser known before he ended up joining the likes of Zelay, the Hobby Lobby Goblin <coughs> went around. Asking the other cards if they had had an abortion. Uh, shockingly, not many had, except for the Sorcerer's Apprentice. <laughs> Sorcerer's Apprentice maintains that it's completely legal in her state 
not her fault, and then no. you should back the fuck off. Indeed. Also, the couple other rumors that floated around. Oh yeah, yeah. What 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 were they? Oats. Uh, well, you know, there's you don't really want to go into it, right? I mean, you're told things in confidence when you're a journalist, okay. right? You know that. Uh, you know, you 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 just you know you, you want to uh, you want to you want to keep it on on the on on, on the inside, I, I, right? Dustin, this this isn't like you. You you seem more reserved, a little bit more defensive than usual. Is is there something that you want to get off your chest that you want to share with the with the audience? Uh, for uh, example, I mean, I was covering a well-known black comedian. And he, in confidence, admitted that he <laughs> might have drugged and raped 50 people. I th I kept it secret. And you know what? I wish I had gotten it out. Uh, is there something well, you wanted to get out? Well, I mean, this is not that, right? There's no crime being uh, involved, right? You know, there's, there's just, you know, you don't want to say which Hearthstone card personally, despite the fact that it was legal, had an abortion. Uh, uh, didn't you already say? Well, one did. There was another. Oh, oh, there was another. Yeah. W was it a hero or a card? It was a card. Oh, okay. Well, and 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 uh, this card was it? Uh, was it an action or or was it a minion? Or I mean, can you? I feel like we're just fishing around, right? But but let's I mean, just say if there's a card that is known to say, "I hope you like my invention," it turns out they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Are, are you saying? Are you saying? Oh my god! The office she's, engineer had an abortion. She's, Fine, I said she's it. So she's so sweet. She's so sweet. She wants so much to please you. Listen indeed. to her voice. Indeed, indeed, the scumbag. Scumbag, of course. Sinbad is <laughs> Sinbad's <laughs> natural enemy. By the way, don't forget, Sinbad is appearing at Mohegan Sun Indian Casino. Up in upstate Massachusetts, Mohegan Sun. Come on out and be part of a winning streak. You'll be grinning when you're winning at Mohegan Sun. Zelay facing a real tough cookie right now. He's got two Sorcerer's Apprentices on the other side of him. And in the middle, it's he loves it when you call him Big Papa. Two bitches on his arms. It's the piloted shredder. Oh, looks like he's in a great spot to me. I don't know about you, Oates, but I'm looking at one card versus a full hand of four and a fat old taunt sitting there grinning while he's winning at Mohegan Sun Hotel and <laughs> Casino. Head on over to Mohegan Sun. Real questionable play here for Zelay. He's got a wonder on an eight drop what he is going to put out there, he's got two sea giants at the cost of six mana, and there's old Hobby Lobby wondering who got an abortion right next to him. Drops the hobbers, and the sea giant uses his taunt to clear one of the sorcerer's apprentice. And we are waiting for. Or, oh, no, wait, or is it the piloted? It's no, it's apprentice. definitely the apprentice. It out there, five one now, and board control is seized for Zalay. Dial Z for savings. <laughs> By the way, if you want savings, just consider all the comp benefits available at Mohegan Sun. <laughs> Call right now. Get yourself a three night, two day combination package, including the sauna, the spa, and of course. Premium golf membership available right now at your place away from the Rockies. It's Mohegan Sun. Of course, Mohegan Sun, where Sinbad will be bringing his comic stylings this Thursday and Friday, but not Saturday. So hurry, Mohegan Sun. Dark Saturday and talking about dark. I'm just saying that just That's, saying. All right, I feel like you need to apologize. For what? A uh, dark Saturday when Sinbad's playing, man. Oh well, no, that's what that's what they say. They say they say when 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 they're not on a certain day, they say they're dark on that day. A likely story, Hearth. Moving back to the action, we have two sea giants uh, going against a piloted shredder, and 
a sorcerer's apprentice. Hey, look at that. I'm not the only uh, pilot on this ship. It's another piloted shredder joining him, <laughs> pointing at his face and saying, I'm the captain now. Too many cooks is a movie. <laughs> Oh, there's a zombie chow. You know he doesn't want to see that there. It's like a bad penny that showed up the day that the novice engineer got an abortion. Ah, <laughs> uh, this just in. The novice engineer asking us to please stop talking about her abortion in public. According to the statement that was just faxed over to us, handed to me by this intern, it says, and I quote, guys, this is a deeply personal subject to me. I would appreciate it if you would keep it off the air. And, of course, we'll be giving you live updates on Novice Engineer's Abortion every 15 minutes here on hearthanotes.info. You got to wonder here where these two sea giants are going to play. You know, Hobby Gobby Lobby is out there again. <laughs> there goes all the cards. Sea giants are at play. We walk one of them right up in that lady's face as we have our final stretch in this game against just saying N Zale. I'll tell you what, man. It looks like that's a lot of minions about to do a lot of destruction on a poor girl who's having a gamble just to get ahead in this world. Let's hear it for the girls, Jaina. <laughs> sitting there weeping silently as she knows she's about to get crushed under the mighty fist of Zalay. Zalay sitting there calmly, stoically, in an important and privileged position, looking not <laughs> unlike our great leader, Vladimir Putin. <laughs> A lot of good points you're making here, Arthur, and it's about time somebody... Oh, my God, what an amazing play. We now have an Annoyatron on the board that's going to take at least two minions to clear before Zale can have an opportunity to do any kind of damage. A Mana Worm on the board, if he's got a spell here, this is also something that he's got to pay attention to. <laughs> Bing, bong, boom, Hobby Lobby's down, and we have ourselves a ball game. Hip hop hiddly do is my new catchphrase. I just trademarked it, and that is now a domain available over at domain.com this segment. Brought to you by Domain.com. Use promo okay. code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout. Domain.com. We have to wonder whether or not this is a bridge too far for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> there are things that I can say, Oats. Great point, Hearth. <laughs> we have a hell of a match here right now. He's got to get through that Annoyatron, and boy, is he annoying does a way right now. That Zombie Chow is also a bit of a big fat bitch because it will add to the health total of just saying as soon as it meets its untimely demise. Yeah, we're looking at uh, not so many cards left in the deck right now. It seems like he should tap to make it happen, but instead he's going to pop it with the ooze, pop it with the zombie chow, and then clear as much of the board as he's able to. It looks like he should okay. be able to get, wait, Imp Gang Boss coming in, dropping another Murloc, cleaning the board, smacking the face, He's smacking, waxing, and utterly relaxing. It's Zalay. This is the final breath for just saying. He might be just saying that this is the end of the game. Z uh, the crowd is chanting right now, Oats. Zalay, 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 Zalay. Olay, 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 Olay. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> Flame Waker comes out, so does the Frostbolt. Two bits of damage, one to the Murloc, the other to the Sea Giant. That'll neutralize it for this big play here, but just saying's got a lot of work to do and not a lot of time to do it in. This one looks like a big fat win for Zalay. You might as well. Pack it in, just saying. Yeah, you hear that? We're just saying, why don't you go home and cry yourself to sleep tonight because there's no way you can stop Zalay from Zaslaying your ass. Just saying. Just saying.
There's a hero power. And we pop the zombie chow for. Oh, who's got the upper hand when it comes to health? We'll take a look. Probably not what Zalay wanted. He probably would have liked the god card. The god card, of course, being a 10 10 beast that costs 10 mana and gives you 10 fireballs. It's <laughs> one that I made up, and it's pretty much the best card in the game. I, I bet that's what I kind of wonder wishing. whether or not that one's worth waiting for, Hearth, as uh, it is not actually included in the game and rather something you literally just made up while we were talking. Uh, Oats, I'm not going to deny anything you said. However, I do suggest, and we'll get this in the post-interview, I bet Zelay would love had that card come out of that deck at that time. That's a very, very, very wise point and the kind of... Commentary that people have come to expect from the Hearth and Oats Trollcast. Hearth and Oats, we got some ooze flowing on a wanker, which means it's time for the Home Depot Garden Hose Play of the Day. The question is, what's he going to do? His only choice is to end his turn, which he just did. That was the <laughs> Home Depot Garden Hose Play of the Day. Very Brought to you. easy for him to choose and everybody to win a garden hose. If you chose that he was going to end the turn, do us a favor and head on down to the Home Depot and yell, I want a garden hose watching Hearth and Oats. <laughs> of course, when the manager comes by, just act like you're confused and that you don't know who he is or how you got there. That's the secret code to get yourself your free garden hose. Just go ahead and say, I'm so lost. <laughs> and then when he looks at you and ushers you out, make sure to wink three times and shit your pants. <laughs> Oh, look at this. We got ourselves a knife juggler. We're going to toss him out there and then also have ourselves a haunted creeper. You got to figure one of these is going to go right up there to clean that 2-2. Two -two. And now you might as well put him in a potato bag and take out a rubber chicken because this one is a police hazing. And don't forget to take those potatoes. Make sure to take them down to your local animal shelter and say, hey, who likes potatoes? Throw them at the puppies. They think it's hilarious. This message brought to you by the puppies. Also, Daddy's Home brought to you by <laughs> Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Also, at the end of the movie, it turns out John Cena is the real father. <laughs> Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't <laughs> seen the movie in cinemas right now. And we're back. Uh, Actual spoiler. Not something we made up. I've actually just spoiled the movie. <laughs> Wait, is that just, uh, Oats, please. Promise me. Look at me and throw up your pinky. Tell me for reals. That's the, that's the real thing. Is it really? Reddit on a uh, wrestling message board. <laughs> Actual spoiler. That's amazing. <laughs> I've spoiled the movie for anybody who wants to go see Daddy's Home. Available on cinemas screens now. Early signing off. Let's go ahead and switch to somebody else. Yeah, so let, let's uh, give it someone else. We got Tiger Cupcake. Are let's you go. Ready? Let's go. Let's swing now to Tiger Cupcake, <coughs> a Trollcast stream, bringing you the best in all of troll casting. This one's a lady. No, we're not sexist though, because we did two guys before we made fun of a woman. <laughs> First of all, we're not making fun of anyone. Oats. We are, of course, the premier podcasters who give relationship advice while we play Hearthstones. Hearthandoats.info. The biggest. Also, twitch.tv slash trollcast show. Uh, oh, man. I. I like the. Uh... Is at rank 18. <clears throat> and not playing Hearthstone, feel like this might be the time for us to swing on over to anybody else that is playing Hearthstone. Go ahead and throw it in the chat right now. This is when we will take a look 
at somebody else. There hey, look we at go. this. Another oh, now we're talking. Uh, this is my favorite way to play this game is when we have to make up all the words because they're written in another language. Now, uh, uh, Harth, what language do you believe this is? Uh, you know what? Uh, a lot of people don't realize that I, of course, minored in Asian studies. Ah. And I, ah, of course. Ah, so. Yes, correct. And I do believe I can verify that this language is Asian. Fair point. We got a, uh, Sir Finley Mergleton on the board facing up against a uh, armored uh, spider tank. Uh, yes, it is uh, a, a, a spider tank. And of course, we got the guy that'll poke the dude and make him stronger to do the thing, <laughs> which is why he's uh, Sir Finley Finkel Mergleton, right? Is yeah. dead. Of course, Sir Finley Mergleton changes your hero powers. Now we have both hero powers, a warrior and a mage with fire blast. We got a mech warper coming in hot and hard. <laughs> <laughs> of course he's hard he's made of metal oats Indeed. we're gonna go ahead and drop ourselves a armor smith oh no wait says uh this person well, who are we watching uh hearth because the logo is over the name uh looks like we're following sevilla c-i-v-i-l-a don't forget sevilla's coverage brought to you by chevy's Trace Get your Mexican food at Chevy's. We're basically Mexican food. <clears throat> All right. Looks like we're going to drop. So this looks like the only play to make here, Harth, is to uh, drop the fire blast there on the Anoyatron. Uh, use the 2-2 two -two to knock that one out. And then use <clears throat> the recently unfrozen fiery war axe to put three damage all up in that mech warper's meowth. That is an effective board clear responded to with a mana worm and a blast mage. Blast mage going to pee all over nobody because there's nary a technical object within sight. Nary, dairy, that's my Mary is what uh, this Sevilla is saying as they continue to climb the legend ranks. Sevilla. Four damage in a death spite going right into that goblin blast mage all right coming up next it's got to be way for it follow up with the spell and a smack and a wiggity whack it <laughs> is going to be sevilla continuing to slay all the minions who dare to show up in front of him by the way i don't want to point out just to anyone but just to you oats that every time <laughs> yeah. we tune in they win. Have you noticed that? Have you have you noticed every time we cover anyone, they win? Uh, we are currently on a win streak here, uh, uh, Harth, and that is something that is proven by science. <laughs> Both players. Uh, oh no! Oh, Spell Reaver! I don't care what language you speak. That could spell doom for one of these players. Yeah, dude, the Fell Reaver is is a nasty, stinky sideshow hobo who shows up at your house and just sits there pooping on your couch five times a day. And every time you replace the couch cushions, it costs you three cards. And there he sits with his mechanical butt pooping up a storm. Meanwhile, you're able to destroy him with your fiery powers. And there we go. That is at the very least nine cards that are out of this deck. And that Fell Reaver's gone. And so is Waxwing Slain. Get the hell out of here. Savila has just won our Chevy's match of the night. Don't forget, next time you head on over to Chevy's, participate in our latest promotion and tell us a little lie and say it's your birthday. We'll come out and sing an awkwardly copyright-free version of the Happy Birthday song. You'll get a piece of food that may or may not be a cake for free, and you'll be a horrible human being. Chevy's, Tex-Mex. This debate, alternatively, in our second promotion, say it's your anniversary. 
If you say it's your anniversary, don't tell the waitress. Walk silently into the bathroom and start crying and wait for one of our managers to bring you a cake. That is the Chevy's anniversary guarantee. And, of course, if you don't have enough money to pay for your bill, <clears throat> we recommend you pull off the Chevy's play of the day and awkwardly call over your busboy who may or may not speak your language and whisper, I just proposed, she said no. <laughs> I don't know what to do, I'd like to leave, and that meal will be on us. Chevy's, it's the fresh Mexanists of the Tex Mexanist. <clears throat> or alternately, uh, get involved in our other promotion, the... Hey, I'm being kidnapped. When your waiter comes over to you, scream, Hey, I've been kidnapped. And then point at the person next to you. If no one's next to you, point at the person at the table across from you and say, He's got a gun. You'll get your free skillet and queso. As soon as you yell, I'm going to die unless you do something. Two fan. <laughs> Two fan bringing it to Sevilla. Uh, with the zombie chow slayed and giving four points to Sevilla himself, we are looking at a fascinating pregnant moment. Have you ever been pregnant, Oats? I, <laughs> I have not. <laughs> but one day hope to be. <laughs> right on. I respect that. <laughs> 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 now this is a real interesting play you gotta wonder whether or not wow Sevilla's got a lot of legendary friends she doesn't fuck with uh, she don't want no scrub a scrub is the guy that can't get nothing from her fair enough <laughs> <laughs> I won't dispute that's, that that's fight into an imp gang boss leaving one 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 imp in its wake as we turn it back to two fans <coughs> God of Vegetables pledging $100. That's a hell of a lot of money. The thing about money is that it can be used to buy things. Wow, look at this. It's a patron warrior being played by Sevilla. Drops that 4-4 right into the Azure Drake. And now, presto, change -o, bingo, bango. We have a clear board and two 3-3 three, three patrons. Uh, by the way, if you'd like to be our patron, then we suggest you find someone who has a Patreon, and patronize them. Also, Chevy's. There's a place <laughs> where you can get Mexican food called Chevy's. Uh, jeez. <laughs> uh, Justin, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I'm running out of steam here. <laughs> is it amazing how boring most people casting Hearthstone is? <laughs> well, <laughs> If it, is that uh, uh, guys watching? Was was this in any way better than everyone else? <laughs> <laughs> should, should we just be like everyone else and be a lot like he put that guy there? That guy is gonna do a thing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like everyone else that normally casts well, no more they're smarter about it than we are, and they know the decks, which is another thing. <clears throat> but maybe, all right, you want to know? Maybe we're actually doing it the wrong way. Oh yeah, it oh, yeah. should just be going to people who have nobody watching. Okay, all right, I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. And 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 let's just go. This person has nobody watching. We are going to give them not only an audience, but we are going to cast. Dude, first of all, he's called her Herbstone, <laughs> which makes me think this guy's hi 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 hi. What else made you think that? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Ha, ha, uh, we want to let this round end. Yeah, yeah. You let, let, let's go back to us, and then we'll then we'll throw to it. Yeah. As soon as we go back live to his gameplay, then everyone flood the chat and say you're being casted on Trollcast TV on Twitch. Let sh him know. Sh should we not call it Trollcast? Should we say C uh, TCTV? Fuck it. Whatever. I, I, I just don't want people to go on defense. Well, I mean, the the, the art's going to speak for itself. Touche, sir. 
Uh, so what do you think went well? What do you think didn't go well in our new... Uh, as it turns out, we got drunk last night and we hung out with friends and we decided we had the best idea ever. Now we've done it when we're only half drunk and uh, and, and it, it didn't quite have the exact same punch. It's, but it's, I thought it was, I had a lot of fun. Oh, dude, no, it's great. It's great. Uh, <laughs> the, the, the gem is, of course, in us mimicking the, the patois of, you know, of, of the sportscaster. And uh, throwing in, you know, the the, the sponsors, and um, I don't know. The, the, there's moments that were on point, and other moments that were not. Uh, like one time that I actually spoiled Daddy's. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> uh, well, no. I, I, here's the things that I think that we've that we've figured out. Number one, a troll stream is us bouncing around the Hearthstone world. Right. Correct. And, and and maybe we even need we need like transitions. Like like we're like the wide world of sports. Where there it's we like, go. There we go. Let's check in. Switching Moving now. now. Yeah. Uh by the way, this looks like a astonishingly slow ki- I mean, look at how herky jerk uh, junkie. Oh, looks. is he like the jerks? Yeah. Is Does he look Steve good Martin the jerk? Else? Yeah, I don't think we can do this if it's going to be uh, a, a flipboard. <laughs> yeah, look at that, a flipboard. Uh, all right, well then, here, let me, let me. Uh, I've been relying on the chat, but I can just go ahead and into uh, in, in, into Twitch and just see what we're looking at. Because you can just search. Hey, by the way, turns out, uh, remember Justin.tv? Yeah, sure, I do. Um, turns out what made that a failure and what made Twitch successful is that you could literally just go to the fact that Hearthstone is the most popular game uh, on Twitch right now and literally search everybody. And we can just scroll on down to somebody with... How about this? Oh, man, there's a lot. At this time of day, it is a lot of Asian folks. <laughs> Dude, uh, I got to be honest. I don't mind saving it till tomorrow uh, with, with with an upset lady friend downstairs and an upset. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, here, you want to do one more. How about this? All Death right. stab underscore three. All right, hold on. Gavings? No. Death, S-T-A-V, underscore three. All right. He's going for top 25 legend. Oh, man. I, I don't know that I have this in me. You don't, you don't got one more? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of super wiped. Uh, yeah. All right. You, know, you want to give it the old, the old college try? No. No. I, I, I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it. it. We'll do, we'll Tap do it. Tap it out. That's fine. All right. Game Dingo is streaming. What's that? Uh, that's fine. All right. Uh, let's lock it up, lock it down. Uh, uh, tomorrow's not going to work for me probably because of, um, uh, New Year's Eve, but, uh, well, we will be back. Yeah, with, no, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do something over the weekend. I'm sure. All right, buddy. Hey, Good hey, yeah, no, we gotta sign out. Come on. We gotta do the, we gotta we, like get, get let, let, let's get some music. Uh, so we can, uh, so <laughs> we right. can, we can, we can sign me, out here. Let me throw this out. Let me find out. Well, uh, what have you learned tonight, Hearth? In the night of Hearthstone action, we saw a lot of minions. We saw a lot <clears throat> of uh, phlegm because we're both recovering from illness. We the saw, same illness as, as it turns out. We saw uh, uh, quite a lot of amazing plays from this side of the Pacific and the other. What stuck out to you the most? I saw a lot of heart. I saw a lot of uh, overcoming adversity. I saw a lot of difficult situations where the only thing you could do to get by is make some people laugh. Not unlike we're going to see this week when we watch Daddy's Home. Starring Will Ferrell and Mark Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg and John Cena because he's at the end of the movie. It's the last joke before the credits roll. John Cena in Daddy's Home. For me, Brian, I mean, Ryan, I mean, Hearth, it was the fact that novice engineer had an abortion, (laughs) confided it to me, 
And then I told it on the stream. I'll tell you what, next time, maybe we'll find out who else had an abortion. What do you say? I say that you're 100% right, and I'm double-clicking on the thing, trying to make the other thing go, but for some reason, the you know credentials. Else, uh, Ryan, is uh, when people are playing Hearthstone, there's a lot of cards involved. You think they were trying to do a magic trick. All the cards are left out of the tape. Sorry, explained the wrong thing. Hold on. You know, another thing, Ryan, is when you're covering for your co-host, what you want to do is come in with a big thunderous statement and then elongate your sentences until your co-host gives you some sort of nonverbal cue to let you know that everything's ready to go. I couldn't have put it better myself. Thank you so much. Once again, I'm Ryan Hart. Join, as always, by, by Donnie Oates. Until next time, head on over to heartthenose.info and get yourself a garden hose. Love you guys.